Hello, this is Lance Cleveland. I'm going to go over some of the new additions that are coming with 4.8.4 of the Power Add-on and uh, the Premiere plugin. So all Premiere members that have an active subscription will get the latest update, which is category checklists. As you can see here, I'm able to filter what shows up on my list with checkboxes so I can show everything that's blue or red locations, blue, green, or red, or any combination thereof with the checkboxes. So along with that, there are a few other changes that have been made. So first of all, getting that setting. You'll want to go and set up your categories. So you go to the Categories tab and go to Category Manager, and you're going to set up your categories. And some of the things here have been moved, and some patches have been made to fix some of the issues that were in the last couple of releases. So you can set your marker and your icons for any of the locations. You can see I've already done that for a blue, green, and red category. So once those are done, you can assign them to your categories. And there's also a bulk categorization. You can see the dialog box has been cleaned up and that's been fixed. Uh, so I can assign this to the categories. I've already done that here. Now to get the category selector to show up, go to settings. One thing that some of the members who have been using the older version of categories will notice is that under categories, all the settings now have been relocated. The only thing here is the taxonomy or category manager interface. So all the category settings are under the settings tab. They live alongside all the other settings now. So the first setting we want to do is go to settings search and there is a new section under appearance because this affects the appearance and it's the category selector. I've also fixed the related to um, references so that it'll highlight all the things that are kind of work with each other. So if you've got Premiere with an active subscription, you'll see that in addition to the default hidden single dropdown and cascading dropdown, you have a couple of new options. Single parent's been there for a while. Checkbox is vertical and checkbox is horizontal. Both work the same way. They put checkboxes on there, just one lays them out in a horizontal or row fashion, the other one's column fashion. And they work as an or style checkbox right now. Uh, we may add a feature if people ask for it to add and. Um, this is the beta release, so it's not completely finished yet, but here's how you add those selectors um, to the interface. You can also add the label and for the drop downs, determine if you wanna have a select everything or all or any, you can change the text to that. And whether or not to hide empty categories is another option. This option has to do with um, whether or not you hide things that are not assigned to published posts. This really is only useful if you're using the pages setting and you have stuff public or draft. So that's uh, there. Your other settings for categories are under map and uh, under results and these sort of things. So like do not use the category markers that affects the map layout. Um, same thing with results under functionality. Order by category count has moved here. And then the last category related is add text to the category legend. You can actually do a legend on the page, SLP underscore category legend, and it will actually show a legend with the icons on the page. So some of the settings have moved. If you cannot find a setting, please ask us in the forums or shoot an email to support. We'll be happy to help you out. Uh, also, if you have any feedback on the release, the beta versions are now out and available. You will need Store Locator Plus 484, Premiere 484, and Power 484 to get the new features. As always, thanks for watching. Thank you for supporting Store Locator Plus.